car of mine. It's a 1932 Ford Tudor. I've had it 30 years and we've done a lot of different modifications to the vehicle. Pretty well, it's almost finished now. Because we uh, lowered the top, which is a, um, a theme for, for an actual hot rod, we chopped the top, we put an L300 van top in it and then um, trimmed it all up. We put some um, beautiful coloured flames on it and um, another mate of mine, he was a, an artist uh, at uh, doing skulls and things like that. I got 20 stone chips on it in one day and uh, he touched it up and put a few more to actually cover those stone chips up. So. That's why it's ended up like it has. It had a, uh, a 351 Cleveland in it and that didn't last that long so we replaced that with a 351 Windsor motor. They have a narrower V in them which suited this particular bonnet. It's still just a V8, pretty sort of powerful. We, we've done a few um, internal modifications to make it um, sound a little bit different. So it's got extractors on them, aluminium heads and different car be you know all the little things that a, um, a person like me usually does being as deaf as what I am I, I like to hear it we use bigger pipe as it went through under the actual body and, and that makes it sound deeper and a more throatier noise but it, it has got a huge big muffler that we uh, made for it stainless steel four in and four, four out, then it goes into another four actual mufflers on, on the back of it. That uh, shiny stuff on my car, it's, it's actually uh, 316 stainless and it's all polished. Once you actually polish it once, all you just got to do is just touch it over. It's a restored vehicle but it's got all the actual up-to-date modern running gear in it that makes it easy to, to drive and safer to actually drive. It is a, a labour of love really, it takes up a lot of my retired life and gives me a great interest to um, keep it all perfect and running which is a pretty big job but um, I do love doing it.